Hello everyone, welcome back to Call of the Wild. So today we're going to be heading after some whitetail with the 243 and Palmer tips. Now you want to pay attention a lot to this video because I found an excellent spot for giant whitetails. So let me just show you where we're going to start off today. We're going to start off right here at the Mount Kraken Outpost. We're going to head here to the east and this zone here is actually where I was on the multiplayer server where I saw the Dime Potential Bull Moose. So that's why I decided to come to this exact location and we're gonna head along the edge of this river here and well let's see what happens so we just kicked up a couple of coyotes and some black bear and i see a black bear coming right there but when we see the coyote another black bear right there okay so here's what my goal is a couple of moose in the background when i see the coyote i want to take the coyote down first and then these bears should come following after. And we might be able to get one, if not two of these, plus the coyote. But it's gonna be a lot more difficult trying to hit a coyote on the run versus a black bear, so. It's kind of my plan. So this is kind of cool. We just spotted our first pretty good sized black bear. It's an eight mythical. Now with the 243 polymer tips, we should be able to put two solid hits into them. But we're going to try for a lung spine shot. Oh, I think that was perfect. Can we get a follow up? Oh, he even stopped for us too. Man, I kind of messed that up. I thought we had it. Ooh, that's a pretty nice white tail buck right there. So it looks like we just found a whole herd of white tails on the other side of this river. At least one good buck out in the front. I think we might have messed up the mythical black bear. Uh, well, I mean, unless we got vertebrae, which if that's the case, then it might not even went down. I don't know. That's strange. Because it looked like we had it perfectly right on the spinal cord, but... Okay, so he did go down. But yeah, I would say that we hit the vertebrae. And that's not a bad size bull moose right there. And take a look right there. We got a pretty nice white tail buck. I believe... Hold on. I see something really nice in the back there. It just picked its rack up a second ago. So we're going to wait. Oh. That's definitely a 900 plus. Wow. Wow. Uh, but you never know there could be some more I believe that the herd of whitetail that we saw Was trotting off this direction here Yep So the whitetail that we saw were actually going this way. Oh <laughs> Look what's laying right here. It's our mythical black bear. So <laughs> I don't know where we even hit it, but let's see stomach intestine so we're actually too low and a little bit too far back for the spinal cord. But I mean, we'll still take the 1,300 cash. Kind of messed up on a what could have been a really cool gold mythical brown black bear, but that's all right, we'll still take it. So the next question is what to do. Now, like I said before, we do have a really good broadside shot on this buck. And I think we might take it. Because I don't think we're close enough to be able to call in that other buck. Yeah, we could definitely get at least like a single lung at... Boy, I wish we had the rangefinder. Um, I'm going to say he's like 250, so we shouldn't have too much drop. We'll go prone. Slide forward a little bit so we don't accidentally hit this hill. I always like to slide forward and then back up. And 9 times out of 10, you're usually pretty good. Okay, so he's kind of in the brush, but definitely should have been a perfect shot. Question is, did we get the penetration? 170? Okay, so I would say we only got a single lung, in which case I'm okay with that because he wasn't that big of a buck. But the most important part is it should have been a good hit and he should go down. Which will give us plenty of time to get over there, get set up, and see just how big that other buck actually is. 
And as you can see, he did go down. Right over there, about 160 out. So yeah, I would say we definitely got a single lung. Did hug pretty tight to the front shoulder. In which case, a lot of times you're only going to get shoulder blade. Or a single lung with the 243, because... That shoulder blade is pretty tough. So as we're heading over there, I just bought a really nice whitetail buck. That's another 900 plus guaranteed right there. Now we don't have a very, yeah, we have a decent win, but we don't have a good spot here. So, you know what? We might be able to try and call this guy a little bit closer. So we'll try and tuck up in here, get in this tree and see if he comes out a little more. All right, is that him right there? I believe it is him. And he's in range. Tried for a heart shot. Man, that should have been perfect. Definitely should have been double long. Okay, so I actually just found the rest of the herd of whitetail here and I don't see the big one anywhere. I believe, I mean, we should have gotten a single lung hit. I would imagine we should have had double lung, but might have hit that shoulder again. Okay, this is actually a pretty good spot right here. Let's see if we can't get on one of these decent bucks. Nope, that's not good enough right there. So that's kind of a cool looking buck right there. And I think we might end up going for him actually. Hold up, we found some more deer. Okay, so I don't want to lose that first buck. I don't want to lose that first buck, but we do have it. We know kind of where he's at, but that's a different buck from a different herd of whitetail. And so we got to be careful here because there could be an absolute monster not too far away. Looks like this herd of whitetails is going to just sit right here out in the open and drink, which is kind of cool. I do have the bow considering they're so close. That's a great looking white tail as well right there. So I'm really curious though if there's not another just massive buck in this herd. And the only way to really find out is by using the bow on this one. Because if we don't what do I hear? Oh my god, we got a bear coming right behind us here. This might not be a good situation. So we'll grab the 420s and the bow and oh my god, we have two bear coming in here. Two bear, let alone not just one, we have two of them. So, oh my god! I want to try and get a shot off on this buck here. Really? You think that was cool or something? That's okay. As long as he didn't spook our nice buck. Which... Please don't come back again, bear. I... No, Moose! Don't do it! Don't do it! No! Oh, thank you! Oh... We don't have a first aid kit just yet, so... Okay. So, is that our buck? Forget which one is him. I think... There he is. That's the buck there. Not a good angle though. So we'll put out a call. And see if he responds. Not a bad angle on that buck there. That's not a bad buck either. Get him to come closer though. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. What the heck is wrong with you, bear? Oh. So that's him there. And he's down. I think that might have actually been double lung spinal cord. But I swear, if this bear comes at me one more time, one more time. And we are barely still alive. But like I said, I want to find out what's in this herd. 
So I can't really see him very good in there. See, look, there's a buck right there. That's a good... It's another really good buck, but there... There's definitely a few bucks over there that I would like to find out what's all over there. But luckily we made a nice shot on this one, and I believe he dropped. Uh, but he should have been laying, like, right here. Oh, yeah, there he is. I was going to say, did he seriously glitch out? All right. So... Technically, we got our first nice buck down. Double lung liver shot, and this guy is going to break 900. Look at that. 231.6 with a trophy rating and total score of 904. That's a great, great white tail right there. 61 yards out. And yes, we will save him. 769 cash. I don't know if you guys saw my video from yesterday, but... It is so nice to know that if you play on single player, you don't have all these bugs. As you can see, 100, 100, 100. And everything is just nice and organized here the way it's supposed to be. Not saying 0% integrity with only one shot and yeah. So I really do enjoy playing single player. And as you know, well, the last couple diamonds that we got were on single player as well. So it's not just all about multiplayer is where the diamonds are at. A lot of the diamonds that I've been getting recently come from single player. So a lot of people ask me, do you get all of your diamonds on multiplayer only or what? The answer is no. Lately I've been only using single player to get diamonds. Oh, the other buck that we hit ran this way as well. That looks like it's from a non-vital hit. Why are we getting non-vital hits on some of these? So that means it's intestine. So I'm but we were going for heart. That shouldn't have been... Oh, well. <laughs> At least he went down somewhere over here. So we're going to try and get set up under this tree here. Put out a couple of calls. And... Oh. Heh. I guess he's laying right there. Well, then. Shouldn't be too difficult to find this guy. Or did we? Yeah, I think we did. <laughs> yeah, we definitely messed it up. Ooh, that would have been a massive buck right there. 252 trophy rating. Oh, we hit that front shoulder. Man, I was a little bit too far over for the heart, but still got a single lung. Whew, that's a beautiful buck, though. Should probably save him as well. 252 trophy rating. Take a look at the true score on that guy as well. These are the really wide racks. These are these are honestly one of my favorite racks in this game. Okay, we gotta slow down and back back up because these deer are starting to come back this way. And there he lays right there. Well, that's pretty helpful. Probably only a single lung, but we'll see. Single lung at 163, and again, we hit that shoulder bone in the front. Man, that shoulder bone is stopping it pretty fast at 160. Not a bad buck, though. Trophy rating of 222 and 695 cash. What did we just find here? What did we just find here? This is an entire whole new herd of whitetail. But they're drinking, but their drinking time should be over, so I'm kind of confused as to what... Oh, they still have 30 minutes yet. So we might have a chance at spotting something nice. There he is, guys. We found him. We found our 900s buck. He's right there. Okay, guys. So this buck doesn't seem to want to step up. We're literally about to get attacked by this black bear here, and we're not going to let that happen. So luckily, we have the bow on us. We're going to try for, like, legitly a brain shot on this thing. And I think we just did it. Nice. Yeah, we are not getting attacked one more time. Right to the brain and skull and 1200 cash. Holy, look at all the white tails. I think they all literally ran into one herd. And there's our 900. Look at them all. They all congregated back together into one herd. I've never seen that many white tail all together like that before. Look at them. Oh my god, there's so many. This is just insane. I... Uh, wow. 
Oh. So apparently there's a eating zone and a drinking zone there. So we got a drinking zone here and an eating zone here from 15 until 21. So it looks like they don't really go too far from their original drinking zones. So yeah, ideally when you find a herd of whitetails this big, I would probably say take out the biggest one and then take out does and the smallest ones. Like bucks like this, leave these ones there. Buck like this, take that one down. Uh, probably like that one right here. And then try and thin down some of these does because there's just so many does here. But let's try and get this big buck to come in or at least give us a decent angle. All right, so patience is definitely a major key. He's pretty broadside, but at the same time, I do not want to hit that shoulder blade. Come on, get out of the grass. Perfect shot. Squeezed it right behind the front shoulder. No doubt should have been double lung, so he should go down right there. Yes, we got him. But look at all the white tail taking off. Got half the herd going this way. And the other half of the herd going this way. All right, let's find out how we did. 255, 931 score on that giant buck. 83 yards out, we did get double lung. We actually only got a 99% on the quick kill, but that was a beautiful shot placement and a monster gold white tail buck. So we'll save him, probably get him mounted. So before we go, I'm gonna show you the exact zones and the times of these zones and where you need to go. So again, we're just to the east of Mount Kraken here at the Mount Kraken outpost. And right here, we have a white tail need zone from 12 until 1530. And if we go south, we have another drinking need zone from 12 until 15. So as you can see, this is 30 minutes different from here to here. Then we have a whitetail need zone from 1500 until 21, but this is where they actually eat. So they drink here first and then they eat in pretty much the exact same area. You wouldn't think it, but apparently they do. And then there's another drinking zone right here from 1230 until 1530. So here it starts at 12, here it starts at 1230. That basically means if you come here, well, if you come here at 12 o'clock, you're probably not going to see anything. But if you come here at 12 o'clock, there's going to be whitetail. So that little bit of time makes a big difference when you're hunting for the whitetail. So we'll save him, probably get him mounted. And that's going to be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.